Hello everyone, I'm DyerFox240 and welcome back to Stories 2. We're still in snow area and this game still doesn't know how windmills work. <laughs> I don't know, I kept thinking about it. Where are the windmills? They're over here. Also, like we more. have some people to thank for um, following. Yes, thank you, Wolf, because I got completely distracted. Douglas LFK, thank you so much for the follow. I believe you came in on Alice? When we raided Alice? Al Alice Bunny yes, Holmes last, I believe last week? Douglas LFK and I think Lucky Dog 700? Lucky Dog was during the stream. Okay. And I just missed him because I was scrubbing. Okay. <laughs> also, to anybody who's catching us very late on the YouTubes, don't forget to follow us over on Twitch. Yes. All. All. One. Ten of you or whatever there are. Yeah. There's not very many, but I appreciate you all the same. I'm sure my random uploads and such are not random, actually. They're quite rigid. But the, the space between them is probably not great, and that's same with Twitch, too. Once a week, but hey, life is life. Go! Thank you. Sorry, I'm I mean, yelling at the TV. We, we have survived the going back to work after Rona, and True. still staying on Twitch and YouTube. Which is- Even if it is, is only once a week. I'll take once a week over nuns a week. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take once a week. I'll take once a week over once a month, and once a month over once every six months, and once every six months over nuns a fucking year. Exactly. Like I'm sure more than once a week it was, would be phenomenally better as far as like our viewership is concerned. But bleh. yes, one day maybe, but that day is not today. <laughs> um. So yeah, more story missions. Also, just as a random side announcement, if I seem really distracted today, it's because I keep thinking of freaking four. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing 4 Ultimate constantly for the past 3 days? Yes, because we dug out the 3DS. I mean, I was using this as my freaking phone coaster for like the better part of a year, but... Yes. I finally remember that I have that instead of my stupid mobile games. And I was like, oh, screw it, take that with me places, because the Switch... What did we learn to do the other day? That the Switch has a new OLED version coming yes. out, like next month. Yeah, October sometime. So I'm considering waiting until October and maybe just shelling out the money for the better screen because I fried mine. At least if it comes out at three hundred dollars, also. Yes. If it's or like maybe, bucks or something. maybe I can see maybe three fifty. I can see three fifty maximum. But if it's something like four four fifty, eh, no. Nah. Fuck that. No, I'll deal with my my limping Switch here. Oh, They'd have something. to improve the longevity of the Joy-Cons first. And the battery. And in truth, I haven't actually had to turn these Joy-Cons in in a while, but that's simply because... What the hell? Sorry, getting a spam call. Leave a message, thanks. Busy. Um, Unidentified number? Yeah, from Washington, D.C. Oh, Ain't maybe nobody it's calling. your representative. That would be really cool, actually. Leave a message. <laughs> um, I shouldn't really abandon all these quests, I guess. We'll figure it out. Either way, um, what were we talking about before that? The Joy-Cons? Yes. I've had to send my Joy-Cons, like, what, four times? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's four separate times. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's at least three, and you have a set that needs to go that you've been putting off. The one on the Switch. Yeah. The one that causes everybody to have a seizure whenever I play with it because the camera goes whoosh. Really though, I, I swear they replaced my Joy Cons. Like they, they didn't fix them. I'm pretty sure they just times. replaced them. Like the gray one over there, especially because I sent it in and it had some scratches on it where I was trying to pick at some of the stuff underneath the little hood yeah. of the joystick. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty certain they've just been like, nah, too far gone, replace. Ooh, Jade Baroth is a power monster. What is your skill? I haven't actually looked. Bug search and ground dive. Oh wait, actually this is good. Replace Jade, replace my, um, Anja. Which means we can have somebody else. Nest search, that's kinda nice. Stealth is OP. Um, I'm trying to decide who I want to replace on my technical board, but there really isn't anybody. Whatever, be serious, cool. Oh, random PSA as well. For anybody thinking of playing the older Monster Hunter games, including Monster Hunter 1, I do, su or I do suggest looking at Rage Gaming videos with Josh and Cotton. 
you're not gonna want to play the first game again. Or period. <laughs> Let's face it. Monster Hunter's come a long way since 2002 or 2001. I can't, yeah. I can't get over the control scheme. It's the the right stick is your attack. That's it. Okay, that, that that's literally it. The camera is the D-pad. Oh god. Like like on the other Monster Hunters as well. And yeah, I forget what the other buttons do. I think D is like items or something. It's not a great experience. So I have to wonder. Like I can't remember what else came out during that time. Like three years before that, we had Pokemon. Three or four years before that, right? Jesus, that's because Pokemon was ninety-seven. Yes. Monster Hunter One was oh one. I don't know when the Pokemon games were like not the card game, the actual cartridge. The games card game on... came out before the the actual console game for me. Well, yeah, I, the card game was out long before the Game Boy version was. Yeah. Ooh, right Which then. is what I was just saying. Oh, I just heard it backwards for some reason. I remember kids in my grade school who had, like, the Pokeball action figures, but I had zillions of them myself, yes. with a little see-through Master Ball just kind of doing this and, like, yelling Pokemon names in the frickin' recess, like, yard. <laughs> oh my god. Like, it took my grade school- That didn't happen to me, but I can imagine. <laughs> oh yeah. Because we weren't allowed to have nothing fun at my school, so. Yeah. Well, you had the Catholic school, right? Yep. Yeah. At that time. Yeah, it- By the way, I still have my Pokemon card collection. From- You do, yeah. 97. I have Which all original first editions. I think I might still have some of mine. I'd have to find them. Because they're in my Magic the Gathering card holder thing. That I never oh God, used don't for... get me started on that one. I got that one from somebody else. <laughs> and they had theirs from original too. It's well, crazy. from the 90s. They had theirs from the 90s. Like Yu-Gi-Oh cards too are, are a big thing too with Sometimes. money wise. Yeah. Today. I got rid of all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Somebody else gave me theirs. I used to have Digimon cards. I didn't even know they had Digimon cards. Either did I. Somebody gave me like a pack of like 40 of them or something like that. And, I, and there was one, I forget what it was called. I probably could find it if I looked. It was like a lion, essentially. But obviously Digimon style. And it was like a holographic card and everything. And I loved the crap out of it. Hey, Arthur. Welcome back. Hey, Arthur. Um. And I, I don't know. I think I, that's right. I accidentally left it in Louisiana. When oh, I was like. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I forget how old I was, but I was like six, seven, something like that. Or maybe no, this was the second time we went, so I was probably like thirteen. I think it was Digimon that did it. They had um, they had a game where you collected and fought monsters. Like a console game? No, it, it was a small thing like like your phone essentially now. You and this was back in the no, yes, but no. This was back probably about the mid 2000s uh, that I ran across it, and you what you did is you scanned barcodes, like actual like you go into the grocery store and just scan your Campbell's soup and shit, and you would get different monsters or really? fight different monsters. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually like a wow. That's actually really like new for its time. Is we get mobile games like that now? Yeah. Happy first day of fall. Is it the first day of fall? Hell yes. Now is I'm excited. It? We've had leaves starting to fall for the last week or so. True. And fuck you, I hate fall. <laughs> I mean, I love fall. But as a biker, we hate fall because it's extremely dangerous. That is true. That is the one reason why I would not like fall. Um, but it's my favorite frickin' season. The falling leaves are Jane? extremely dangerous to motorcycles. And worse, Jane? when they're wet. Or, or for like a week after the rain. Because between the leaves will stay wet for ever and i mean like weeks that's true and it's just like riding on ice yeah that is the one thing if you ever decide to ride a motorcycle or a bicycle any two-wheel vehicle wet leaves are might as well just be ice well no that works for cars too but it's much more dangerous for a motorcycle because you ain't got a cage to protect you y yeah you don't have a metal cage to protect you with you oh man Oh right, on the Pokemon thing, that's actually how I met one of the other kids in school, because he was trading them like they were freaking illegal substances, and he gave me like eight fire Pokemon, which was like my happiest day. 
because dark types didn't exist then. <laughs> Which is crazy to think about when they introduce new typing. Oh my god. Fairy, I think, is most recent. Gen 7? I think it's 7. Either way. The things that catch the world by storm. <laughs> like, were there, like, monster collecting games before that? I feel like there was. Like, there was Monster Rancher, but I don't know if that was before or after Pokemon. No idea. I didn't even know about Monster Rancher. Yeah. Monster Rancher I only know about because of a, um, a kid in my neighborhood. My old neighborhood. He had it, and he played it a bit. Like, you could literally train them, and, like, you could take them out and jump them over, like, hurdles and stuff. For, like, endurance training. It was pretty neat, like, for... That sounds cool. Yeah, for what it was. I don't remember if you do switch attacks. What do you do now? Um... Crap, I don't remember. That's okay, who got swap weapons anyway? <laughs> I almost stepped on a cicada? Oh god. Cicadas are the worst thing to step on. Personal opinion. Just because of the noise. Yeah, the noise. Like, I hadn't actually seen a cicada in person before, and I accidentally, like, tapped it because I thought it was dead, and I was like, what the hell is this thing? And it made the freaking crazy buzzy noise. That was a good time. <laughs> Like, I don't mind them, they're essentially harmless to humans. Not so much environments, but, you know. <laughs> God, we had a ridiculous amount of them where I work. For yeah. that week that they were above ground or whatever. Yep. Still not eating one. one. Our news outlet, by the way, Wolf, made a whole article about what people do with them. Oh God. And I'm just like... No, thank you. Nope. I don't want to know. Neither do I. I know enough to know I don't want to know. Like, I just think of Hildago. I know enough to know <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah. Nice job. Oh, by the way, the ones in Hildago, I'm pretty sure they were just sugar. Yeah. Probably. Probably. If I remember correctly. Just so that way they wouldn't hurt the horse. Imagine feeding a freaking horse a locust, though. I don't know. Well, I've I, seen a horse I eat can, it. I can imagine it. I just yeah. can't imagine what it would do. Yeah. I have seen a horse try to eat a uh, cheesesteak. And partially succeed. succeed. Yeah. It stole it from its owner. <laughs> also, uh, Meat Lover's Pizza. Or Pepperoni Pizza. One of the two. This horse, in a past life, was some sort of predator. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's not super surprising for a random herbivore to eat meat. What is it? Cows will occasionally eat snakes? Is that what we learned? Yes. Thanks, Casual Geographic. <laughs> nature is weird. Like, I know enough about nature now that I'm older to be like, yeah, nature crazy. But when you're a kid, it's like, oh, animals are cute and fluffy and so on. But nah, nah, all you need to do is take hyenas and there you go. You're the one who made the windmills happen. Is that true, Vinia? To tell the truth, he was terrified of Frostfang at first. <laughs> well, yeah. So, you mean he was against you coming back? That's right. But he seems perfectly fine around Frostfang now. Of course. He learned. Also, I realize... Actually, hang on. I'm actually worried for the chipmunks. I haven't seen them in a bit. I hope they're still alive and cute. I hope so. They're really good at hiding, so... Yeah. To be fair. And they're also freaking fast. Like, you've never- I don't know. I never realized how speedy those little bastards are. Until you watch one run out into the freaking road and just vanish. But hopefully they're okay. But I just realized something. As far as this game's lore is concerned. If her village wasn't a rider village to begin with, and she kind of started the whole thing in her village, how recent is, like, monster riding? Maybe it was just secluded like Japan was. That would be a great allegory, wouldn't it? I mean, it would fit. Like, even with, like, Wyvern riding and Rise, part of me really hopes that in the main series, we run into a rider. Hmm. Like, maybe, like, Kimura is, like, the, the start of it, which would be really cool, although I doubt it. I'm just... The games yeah. came out close to each other-ish, 
So I'm just and making you're speculation. And ride Palicos. Palamutes, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Palamutes. Mm -hmm. And you have Palamutes in this game too. Yeah, so they might be prepping you for some sort of a crossover, even if it's even next it's game and not G rank in Rise. That'd be wild if they did that in G. Oh my god. The amount of freaking people that would just go Abe. Getting mm -hmm. him and other villagers to accept Frostfang was a painfully long process. When I returned with Frostfang by my side, I was hopeful. At the time, the village was in really bad shape. There was even a monster living there. What? It seemed like a lost cause. Wait, what? A mo wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Village destroyed, monster lived there, got it. Yeah. Oh. Wait, was that the same What are we gonna do about that monster? Frostfang, let's go. Hey, it's Avinia. Did you come back to help us? <laughs> Why else? Frostfang and I came back to do our part. Lucky you guys. I mean, that's a quick way to earn somebody I'm sorry else's trust. About what I said to you. Stay in Kuang, please. Actually, Wolf, you might help be able to help me out here. Isn't there like a token of wisdom from like one of the old like war philosophers, kind of like Sun Tzu, that were like, if somebody co comes in and kills your enemy, then therefore they are stronger than your enemy, which means they are probably stronger than you. So you shouldn't necessarily trust them right off the bat just because they kill your enemy, sort of thing. Um, I do not know the quote you're talking about. Uh, I don't know either. I don't but remember. it makes a lot of sense. Right? I use that same thing in a story, actually. But yeah, I've always wondered about that. Like, insta saving somebody, it doesn't necessarily, or sh shouldn't necessarily immediately get somebody's trust. Mm -hmm. in, in my opinion. Frostfang can stay too, of course. <laughs> okay, I'll stay. Let's rebuild our village together. But this is an E-rated game, so. They accepted Frostfang into the community, so we stayed. The windmills were the first things we rebuilt together. They mean so much to Kuon. They've come to symbolize all of us coming together, Frostfang included. Also, I like his helmet. It looks really freaking familiar. Yeah, it does. The chipmunks are okay. I heard the pitter patter of their feet. Okay, good. Little adorable things. They don't really do much, too, besides run around like crazy and eat stuff. Aw, I love a happy ending. And Frostfang became part of the Kuan family. Do we still have moles in the yard? Yes. I feel we like have they've gotten too really many. bad. Yeah. So, Arthur, for context, there was at one point I was walking through the yard and I literally sank like a good inch because the, the mole tunnels were just every freaking where the soil is aerated just a bit too much having a couple moles in your yard is fine having a whole freaking colony it's bad news bears actually i'm kind of surprised the dahlias are okay they haven't made it to the side of the sidewalk oh <laughs> i have always wondered if i could see them tunneling every once in a while if i watch the ground long enough probably i don't know moles are strange now, if we could only get people to trust Ratha, too. Not real. There's a bit of a problem with Ratha, though. <laughs> He's got kind of an evil I prophecy behind him. I know how you feel about Ratha. He's as special to you as Frostfang is to me. There's five holes in my backyard, mainly chipmunks. Oh, okay. I don't know if chipmunks are, have colonies like other rodents do, but I imagine they would. You want him to be accepted? Keep trying. And eventually, people will come around. I still can't get over that color blue, though. I really like it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah! And remember, you can count on me all the way! The monster in the cave is a Kezu. I'm sure Yes! It. It's Kezu. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> ah. It has to be Kezu. A long time ago, I got attacked by one and it knocked me out cold. Oh, I remember that. This won't be easy. I always felt that that was some kind of innuendo, because when you first meet her in Stories 1, assuming it's the same character, blah mm -hmm. blah blah blah, you find her in trouble and like she's knocked out and Frostfang is, has her on his back trying to get her help. And when she wakes yeah. up, it's like, yeah, it's a Kezu, go kill it. And I'm just like, of course it's a freaking Kezu. <laughs> Knocking out the woman. Thunder monster, huh? 
I have a special sort of hate not hatred, fear of thunder monsters. I don't know, I think it's because my armor in GU is always weak to thunder. So I get KO'd super freaking easy. They think they should have deleted that YouTube channel? I told you about it. Um... I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't have, but that's my opinion. Yeah, well, they deleted a YouTube channel of one of the, um, no-no school people. The... Oh. Yeah. And somebody actually archived one of the videos explaining his motive. I was getting ready to say, hmm, I wonder why they would do that. Maybe yep. to keep people from getting any kind of information? Probably. But somebody screen grabbed it or something and... and well, actually, a lot of people screen grabbed it and reposted the some of the videos. Which yeah. I think is a good thing. As long as it's not the actual graphic event... Yeah. Why take down them talking nonsense? Exactly. I think the motive was... What was it? Um, ending children's suffering. One of those kind of thought processes. Which is especially uh, important to understand, I think. Ending children's suffering. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. YouTube does a bad job of that in general. I know, right? So does frickin', uh, what is it? Twitter? Yeah. Is that, is that the platform that's been getting a lot of heat yes. lately for, um... For child trafficking? trafficking? Not, no, not one of them. They archived the entire channel. Did they? Okay, good. Good. Because if it's just the guy espousing whatever crazy nonsense he believes in, I don't in, care if whatever. it's a bunch of shit that I don't want to hear. Exactly. It's more the fact that they're trying to hide it that that pisses me off. Yeah, as soon as somebody or anybody is trying to hide information from you, that's a problem. Yeah. Regardless of what the information is, potentially. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's right or wrong information. Mm -hmm. If they're trying to hide it... That's there's that's wrong. Going on. Yeah. Like I know there's some things. I mean, they that killed like, Galileo you know, for saying the Earth revolved around the Sun instead of the other way around. So true. They, they hung him. I mean, technically, him, but... if you really know the history of it, Galileo got killed for other shit. But <laughs> that oh, was one of I them. See. He said, "You're the one who wants to censor children. I want to set children free from a life of suffering." Okay. And that's a mentality that needs to be understood. That is a very dangerous one. Yeah. Is that somebody who thinks that they're the hero? Obviously, most yeah. people are like, or most. In other words, like in short, it's very bad things were done with the best of intentions. Exactly. Yep. Which is the worst things in history have almost always been done with the best of intentions. Mm -hmm. We talked about this the other day, actually, because of the Yahtzees. Yeah, the Yahtzees. That whole, that that whole giant war and all the death and murder and whatnot, yeah, that was done with the best of intentions of the Yahtzees for the Yahtzees. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it was a very bad thing. Yeah, that but, that yeah. that was extreme bad. Everybody, not not everybody, but almost I'd like to say everybody. everybody but, yeah, clearly not everybody. Which almost is everybody, 98, 99 percent of the entire population knows it was bad. Yes. But at the time, they didn't. Mm -hmm. At the time, that that whole nation thought, this well, not whole, thing. but for the for the vast majority of it, most of the nation thought, you know, it it was thought it was science, thought it was fact that essentially they were a different human race and that everybody mm -hmm. else was animals. It was essentially their part of their religion too, if I'm not mistaken. Not really, but it 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 was fanatical. It was a religion essentially. That person was mentally, or he was mentally ill and could have been, or could have been prevented by his mother seeking treatment, but instead, twenty-seven people paid with their lives, twenty of them children. Yep, a lot of that. Okay, usually, those wait, kind of events. What happened? Um, the guy was mentally ill, obviously. Yeah, but um, did, did he? He took out twenty-seven people in one go, or uh, I just mouthed it to Wolf. Um, yeah, he was that guy. Most of those people are. If I'm not mistaken. What? Mentally ill. In some uh, capacity. Whether... Not necessarily no. deranged, but... No, but there is a very common thing for younger ones. Mm-hmm. 
uh, they tend to be from broken homes or one, or single parent homes. Yes. Um, <laughs> there are also more than a few who tend to have been bullied. Essentially, Abused what that essentially what that act is most times is a suicide. Yes. Nine times out of ten, or ninety-nine out of a hundred. It's it's a lot. It's pretty high. Most of the time, it's it's a suicide. Um, most of the time, they're never caught. The vast majority of them wind up shooting themselves and before the police way. even get the, before before authorities, anybody who's going to help, before they get there to to well, that's help, or the before they get ones, to right? that person. Same thing in the most famous one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the bind was was people freaking essentially bullied to the point of wanting to rid the world of their bully while they rid the world of themselves. Yeah, which is pretty tragic, honestly. Just thinking about somebody being brought to that brink is horrifying. Yeah. Uh, Anders Brevik has some sort of had some sort of mental issue when he did the 2011 Norway bombing. Um, Oslo, I think is how that pronounced, and another one at Utoya. He was also in a broken home due to his parents' divorce at a young age. There you go. Yeah. I'm not saying that, like, divorced kids are bound to do nasty things, it's just that broken homes with mal- not malintent, with, um, how, how's the best way to phrase this? Broken homes make broken people. Yeah. Not all the time, but it tends to. A lot more often. Like, don't get me wrong, if you have, like, a really caring single parent, that's one thing. It, it, it could sway the difference, It's, it's right? okay, I'm gonna say something that's going to be very... People won't <laughs> like it. Some people will acknowledge it, some people will try and say that I'm saying something that I'm not. Well, might the as well. we talk about United <laughs> States black community, right? The, mm -hmm. the subculture and whatnot, the vast majority of them oh, like, are single like parent homes. Yes. Which either is... either the father leaves or the or the father goes to jail, something happens, um, and it's it's a lot. It's like seventy mm percent -hmm. or something like that. It is a lot. And that's what okay? some of the Now hang on here for a second. Okay. <laughs> a black male in the US is five times more likely to wind up in j doing stuff to go to jail than a than a white else. guy yeah. of similar age. And then you have Asians which are even less likely. Yes. And Pretty sure it's Asians. Yeah. And there's another correlation there also. White white families are more likely to be a single parent family or a broken home Actually, than Asian yeah. families. Yes. And Asian families are really low likelihood of doing stuff to go to jail. True. Granted, there's a whole lot more to it. Mm -hmm. There's a couple but of them. Um... That is one of the things that is extremely what common. What was that guy's name? There's a. Oh, what the hell is his name? Uh, um, I think he was a. He, I don't think he was a politician. I think he was a speaker. Oh my god. I have him in his mind. I have his face in my freaking brain, and I don't remember who, like, what his name is. Either way, brilliant guy. Um, essentially, he would go on about certain rooted problems in our society in general, and broken homes is one of them. It's, it's interesting. Like, what did, what did Duo say? The correlate, like, he he found a correlation at some point between broken homes and some other thing. Bro broken homes. Not necessarily. And. Like and the events that we're talking about happening yeah. here with that yeah broken homes and and active events we'll just no, call it, it that religious. is over 80 percent yes i think like divorce it's rate close is up to like 60 percent or no it's higher than that now. No, no no no. i'm saying 80 over 80 percent of the time of somebody going in and, and doing kind really of, bad things yeah yeah and and removing people other <laughs> yeah and removing Issues, including potentially th themselves, mm -hmm. uh, it's over 80% of the time. As a matter of fact, it was 
almost all the time. Yeah, until, until much recently. Un up until the last like two years. Well, I think years. the other ones, the other were ex well, let me initiate the fight real quick and then we'll... Yeah, there's, there's another one that was up until very recently up in, that goes into this, another one that I that I love and hate something like 98% of all mass shootings mm -hmm. up until the last like two years have all happened statistically in gun free zones yes uh, now that I'm remembering it the quote unquote person who did the thing with children also had a divorce in his family I can believe it but you have to figure like kids are young and sometimes very irrational naturally and sometimes make more observations than you'd really give them credit for so a kid might see, I'm just picking the most common one, a kid might see like a divorce as their fault, like doing something wrong to Oh no, parent. that is very common. It's extremely common. So that's probably... Because they're too young to understand it. Yeah, and their parent doesn't, may or may not take the time to explain things. Hello, hello, Dragon Kudo, we're discussing a rather dark thing. <laughs> yeah, we're discussing extremely serious topics, and Indeed. dark at that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies, Kudo. I appreciate you, sir. All, the, all four millions of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're talking about how a lot of nasty stuff that happens in the U.S. is can be linked. Well, can be was it traced back to a, a broken home? So essentially, no. A, but they they have it a lot of it. The, a lot of the time, they have it in common. The the perpetrators often have in common that they come from broken homes. I wish I had four or million single parent homes. <laughs> I know that'd be amazing, dude. The, on a brighter note, the things I would do, me and Wolf have talked about this, if somehow we came into a, a stupid amount of money, just the nonsense that we would do is, like, go on to, like, I don't know, something like GoFundMe or whatever. Like, oh, this kid... That would be a stupid amount of money because before that I would be building one or two of my dream cars. Oh, of course. I mean, I'll laugh at that. After all the selfish stuff, you know, we go do the, the charitable whatnot. <laughs> just find, like, a, a kid who wants to build, I don't know, whatever, for, like, prom or something like that. Not even necessarily like a Make-A-Wish kid, but just some random kid who's like, Hey, I found this car in a junkyard, I want to rebuild it, you know, I need some help, and just fund the whole thing. That'd be something I would do. Uh, broken homes and mental health, yes, exactly. Exact on window. But yeah, I would 100% just randomly pop in on people and just be like, I like this person, here's a hundred bucks or more. You know? Just a good act of random charity, yes, or racked it. random act of kindness, good lord. <laughs> Behind us? Yes! It's Kezu! Oh my god. <laughs> Kudo meet Kezu. Do you have it already? Ah, <laughs> uh, Kezu. It was Kezu all along. Those creepy things are experts at sneak attacks. You don't say! So, Kezu, for those who might not know, are blind. And I don't know if they have a sense of smell or not. I don't know if they have nostrils. Either which way. Um, as you can see, watching him, his veins ripple, and it's actually really disturbing in this freaking setting. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hail Hydrate! As far as all that stuff goes, but with, like, mental illness and whatnot, mm -hmm. there are some things that you need to really keep in mind. Uh, one, the government will never keep you safe. Yes. And my one of my major examples of this, which goes into a whole bunch of other stuff without really saying it, just making you think about it. Yeah. Parkland. Parkland was Florida, that whole yes. big event that happened a couple of years back. Yeah. So the the bad person who did Parkland was reported I think over three dozen times. So like, oh, for including reasons. having had personal interviews with the FBI at his house. Yes. The third time, like the week before, and having even made statements on YouTube or whatnot, or some kind of social media, that he was going to do it. Yes. Or the and fact that the there was an seriously. armed. I'm not sure if he was a security guard or a police officer, but there was an armed individual who was tasked with protecting everybody there, and he was there. Uh, but he ran away. Oh. And then the police arrived on scene, and they didn't go in. They waited for SWAT. Oh. So they had to wait something like a half an hour with yeah. people in there 
slowly fading light. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Arthur, which one? The, um, was it the bar? No. Or was it a different? It was oh, the... that was the one kid. Hog. Yes. David Hog. Yes, that. Um, okay, Barrel got murked, so I guess we'll swap to Rafa. And that was, what are we that talking was about? the government uh, the not... The Parkland event. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to just say this, even though it's winding up on YouTube. Parkland was a high school shooting. Yes. Um, it happened, what, 2014, 2016-ish? Uh, yeah. It happened a while ago. Um, and it was big. Yes. Uh, the, the big anti-gun gunner high school kid is David you Hogg. Know, I know Parkland, yeah. He's, That's what we're talking about. He's from that event. Okay. That is somebody who is clearly having a problem. Somebody who was clearly reported. As a matter of fact, the high, the school did not report him like they should have to the police and whatnot in their local area and fudge their numbers to make things look better, along yep. with the police department in that area also doing the same thing. So time and time again, this person was not reported or taken reported, gotten help, prevented from doing what they were doing, had didn't have something they weren't supposed to be allowed to have legally anyway, removed from them yep. the whole nine yards. The counter to that, the flip side to that, is, you know, we knew, everybody knew, and nothing was done. On the flip side of that is Las Vegas had a big yeah. event, and nobody saw it coming. Yeah. Not his wife, not his family, not anybody. He wasn't, the, the quote was, he essentially, he wasn't a big weapons person, mm -hmm. but he was found with all sorts of stuff. With lots and lots of, of weapons and thousands and thousands of rounds of ammunition, and there's no video of him going into uh, a high-rise casino with hundreds of pounds of stuff making multiple, multiple trips. Yep. That was just basically unavoidable. At least if you look at it from the standpoint of Mental people illness can just detection. Murder. Yeah, people really can just murder. Some you never give, know. Give me, give me twenty bucks and and probably a half an hour in basically a Walmart, and I can do more damage than Vegas did. Yes. I mean, the, the stuff that you get in your home is more dangerous than any firearm. Yeah. Oh, rough. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the government won't protect you. And mental illness is not something to go by to try and keep people from getting stuff. True. Because, because, of, because a, a car is much, 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 much worse. We saw that in certain countries? No, we saw that in New York City. Also New York? Oh, yeah. I imagine it would be, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Rented a, a, a Home Depot freaking truck. Mm -hmm. And then you got people like with the killdozer. Yeah, but that's... That's a completely different Again, thing. we're getting a lot of <laughs> off topic. The two things are essentially mental illness is different person to person by their own definition of what they consider mental illness and it's unable to spot a lot of times mm -hmm. well not a lot of times there's plenty of times that it's unable to be spotted okay yeah. there's plenty well, of times like that it is like aside from mental illness like high functioning asperger's for example yeah you'll never know until unless they tell you yeah and then the other half of that is the government is fucking incompetent and it that's Always. number one and number two they won't protect you they're Correct. very very bad at it yeah that's true. Well, here's the thing that we, me and Wolf subscribe to. Mobs are stupid, individuals are smart. So what That's not the statement, but that's close. It's close. It's, it's an individual is smart. <laughs> People are stupid. Yes. Uh, back flips to the window and does awesome twirl. Hey, hey, everyone. Hey, Heavenly. Hey, Heavenly. How goes it? It's <laughs> <laughs> just like, get out. <laughs> you and Heavenly, man. You guys have a thing going on. What are we up to now? Climbs out window. <laughs> All set. Hey, where are you going, Heavenly? <laughs> Got booted by Arthur, apparently. <laughs> I hope Why don't you, you just throw right? him out the window? But don't defenestrate people. Buddy, you've defenestrate? Gotten it means throwing something it's out the window. Okay. As long monsters. as it's the first floor, it's fine. And there's no spikes below. Or broken glass. <laughs> or a cellar door that's open. <laughs> or any I can go of... all day. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Fist bump? Fist bump. 
peeks around a window ledge. <laughs> oh, the chat is making up. I love it. Heavenly, I think you'll appreciate some of the redeemables, by the by. I think I figured I'd tell you about them because of all people. Yeah, she redeems all the all the all, stuff. All the stuff. Plus, He's son. Bear hugs. Ah! <laughs> bear hugs the Arthur. <laughs> oh man. Have I gotten stronger? I killed. Wait, we just killed that Kezu without really much effort, did we? Although that Kezu you was threatening. You weren't even paying attention, Not and really. you fucking murked it. That thing is dangerous, though. Did you see what it was doing? Nope. It paralyzed us with its roar. Go figure. So we couldn't attack, and then it would use a thunder freaking thing to hit everybody on the team. Oh. He knocked... You want to move the dialogue along? Yes. Keep it up, and you'll be a positively claudacious writer, <laughs> just like the one who inspired Avinia. Jesus Christ. Ruffles Arthur's hair and boops his nose. Boop. 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 <laughs> God damn it. I should know better. Yeah. That runs away to avoid death. <laughs> Hopefully don't get murdered over a, a boop. Arthur, no nose of a nose boop? I'm not gonna do anything, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> nose boop accepted. Who said that boy was a rider? Huh? Hold the phone, what? person who inspired her was not a writer? <laughs> That's so, interesting. He, so this is a different timeline. He tried his hardest to become a writer, but it just never worked out for huh. him. Ah! That's very interesting. If anyone should know that, it's you, Naviru. What? So Naviru is in the wrong timeline? Maybe. If he's the legendary- Or maybe her memory's altered. Could be. So how's everybody been? It's been, it was work. Oh my god, work was nuts. My, not my, I guess he's my direct hover dead now? I, I swap bosses, as I tend to do. Um, and he stayed late with me today because of the nonsense going on. Like, he gets there at, like, 6 in the morning. And he wants to be at work early tomorrow to finish up what he was trying to do yes, or tonight. So yeah, it's been a bit of a day. <laughs> Haven't felt better since Arthur. <laughs> nice. That's always good news. Ah, work. Who would have a thing like that? <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, but yours was a bit of a weird situation. Also, um, I actually don't know if Duo has announced this. He has an interview tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So we'll That's see That's kind of why he ended his stream at 4. Yeah. He's got an interview over an hour from home at, like, 6 a.m. 6.30, yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully it goes I well. like... Yeah, true. You just gotta prove me wrong, don't you? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Winks rapidly. Haven't been better. <laughs> oh, man. Arthur, if I could give you a hug IRL, I absolutely would. You know that, right? <laughs> Ow! I think you're being a bit unfair. I never even met the guy. Never even? Yeah, I think Navarro is displaced. Huh. You've really forgotten him? I doubt he's forgotten him. I think he's just Wait, on the wrong side. So, it's someone I know, like, personally? Very personally. He never I made that sound dirty, sorry. Rider, but he did ride the great poogie. What? Oh my god, <laughs> what? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you rode a poogie? Okay, no, the great poogie is something really special. So, in Stories 1, poogie, the great poogie, was a monster you could get if you collected all the poogies. What? I never got the great poogie. But I'm sorry, what? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this was a turd. Where the hell is metal? Plus, you're checking a Chuck Norris joke. Okie dokie. Oh, God. I do need to sit up straight <laughs> now that after that what the frick moment. Alright, what? Oh, 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 oh. We got it. <laughs> There's your miso horn. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then. <laughs> There's your, yeah, or you, yeah, you one. <laughs> so yeah, we had, <laughs> yeah, we have a grunt caller now, Heavenly, and two cows in a can, so. <laughs> Just for the extra bits. <laughs> so we have a small cow, we have a small cow in the can and a big cow in the can, and we have a grunt caller. <laughs> so there you go. There goes the big can. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Catch up, come on, Charles. <laughs> yeah, we need to do the Chuck Norris joke and the click clack. Oh god. Okay, so. 
Chuck Norris has a Wrangler belt in karate. <laughs> what the frick? <clears throat> For Chuck Norris, pimping is easy. And finally, another stupid one. Chuck Norris is the only 100% effective form of contraception. Yeah, by murder. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my lord. Damn fat fingers. Yeah, sure, fat fingers, uh-huh. I don't believe that. Fat fingers? For all the redeemables. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I doubt that. Well done. And I still have a, a stretch to do. Fox can't, ca can't catch up. She hasn't ma mustered the strength to, to relish in your amazing redeemable skills. Seriously. <laughs> oh, I poked her too well. <laughs> she, she couldn't breathe enough to squeak. Oh, pop my back. Oh, that was a good stretch. Oh, man! Oh, my God. I just grabbed his thumb, just so you know. <laughs> to try and stop me from poking her. Yes. Oh, God. As okay. if I don't have a second <laughs> hand. <laughs> Okay. Okay, she's tearing up. I'm gonna stop. I poked her too well, wolf quote 2021. Yes. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that joke. Let's continue moving. <laughs> I didn't touch it either. No, please. What are we knowing? <laughs> I don't know. That wolf's pretty. That wolf. That quote is pretty great, not gonna lie. See, there you go. There's the Freudian slip for you. Freudian slip? I started what? by saying the wolf, not the quote. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Though, uh, the poogie wasn't very pleased. The poogie wasn't very pleased. Every sentence she speaks is utter nonsense. What is going on? No. No way. That guy. You need to tell me it's. Dabbly? <laughs> really? That's the dude who could do crap for crap. What? Also, he looks like the DBZ character. He does. I could say things. I'm not going to. Me, Angel. Yeah, you sure. You you could say <laughs> things. I mean, you could. You could. I'm not gonna stop you. Heavenly's just want to be trying to be polite. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Navi Road. Huh? <laughs> I don't remember him. He did get the frick. That's right. Also, we got window parts. I forgot. He did a thing. I haven't played the first game in so freaking long. Uh, not. I went to the wrong frickin' town. Things, things, there. <laughs> Heavenly said things. Well done! <laughs> There's a quest here. Oh, you're back. Yes. I didn't mean to come back. What hey, Alan, what's up? Welcome back. Who's your friend? So, Quan Village has riders too. I'm a little jealous that you can touch felines with your bear. Oh, I was worried where that sentence was going. <laughs> That's why I stopped. <laughs> this could all be a fever dream. It really could be. Or Although, not. For your sanity, I wouldn't. <laughs> I could wake up right now. You could. But do you want to? You could be. Who was it? Um, game theory. The Once you're guy? out of the matrix, they'll never plug you back in. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh man. What is it? I like how he's just so excited that you know we're here. And it's like, oh, you can touch felines? What the frick? Alright, no, we're not doing those. We'll turn them in. I forgot to turn them in the first place. Welcome back. Everybody's so happy that I'm here. I didn't mean to return. I'm so sorry that it was accidental. That was the way, children. I have a quest to get. Wrong way. Perhaps that's it? This was the quiz cat. What do you got for me now? I think I completely derailed from the freaking main quest. Provides a new quiz for you. Answer my questions correctly to win the item Meonster. Mouster title? <laughs> what? Trendsetter. Set? Sense? What? What the hell? What? Huh? I'm confused. Anyway. How about now? Mm -mm. I don't know. If we're all in the Matrix, I mean... F it. It's pretty fun so far. Perfect. Let me know when you're ready. I, we're in the I'm Matrix. Ready. Where the fuck are my cheat codes? Seriously. I mean, I know I've got one Could or two, but there's other ones I'd rather cheese? have. Sorry, we you just went both with- <laughs> I went Skyrim direction and you just- yeah. You spawn a tank, spawn all sorts of things. That's administrative control, not cheat codes. True. 
What? Interesting emotes there. It looks like a tree doing the Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. Either way. You did your claws into quiz items? Question one. What trap do you use to mobilize a monster who charges at you with a speed attack? Uh pitfall trap? Correct. Question two. What trap do you use to mobilize power attacking monster monsters? Shock trap? Cool. Last question. Which trap works best against technical attacks? Well, I guess it's the train trap because it's the third option. That last question was kitten level. Either way, you won fair and square. <laughs> well done. Nice. I I guessed, but yeah, I'll take it. I'm assuming you can just try again. Alright, what the hell is this sense thing? Where is it? I'm assuming it's a combinable? Oh, I can make train traps now. Okay, burn ointment, zest pills, paintballs, knives, awesome. What if I can make knives? Like, what am I, 10? I don't know how to make freaking prison shanks. Anyway, let's let's fast travel to the right village this time. I guess this also then means that there's gonna be more quests at the other village too. Sorry, Emily, I was checking Twitter. Twitter, really? Also, no worries. What are you checking Twitter for? Which I'm also on and do nothing on. <laughs> Heavenly is hungry. Um. My food tastes are kind of bleh, so I don't think you should take suggestions from me. I don't know, Wolf, what should Heavenly eat? Hmm. I, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be rude. <laughs> I mean, it'd be funny, but no. <laughs> I, I don't want to be quite the dick. A steak? Steak's probably good. You get steak? Someone Actually, me. hamburger's much cheaper than steak, and... I not... can't eat soup and it's not a food. <laughs> Fox, I know, I'm sorry. You know, you probably know exactly where I was going with that joke. Or not. Stupid as a food? Well, if you count people as food. Pigs are kind of stupid. No, actually, they're actually kind of smart. But animals stupid. Chickens are stupid. Dodos are dumb. Are dodos still even a thing? No. That's they're dead because they were dumb. How do you think dodos probably tasted? Probably like chicken. <laughs> that was a <laughs> that was a conversation. <laughs> you're welcome. Well, thanks. I know what you're thinking. Y you know exactly what I'm thinking. Good. That makes one of us. <laughs> you all know that you're better at eating that fox. Come on now. I mean, we have no evidence to suggest either way, so sure. Why not? <laughs> wait. What is wait? What, what's stupid? Why? Hang on. Not what's stupid. Which stupid thing is food? There's a lot of stupid things that are food. Bugs can be food. They're pretty stupid. But yeah, now I'm, now I'm curious. What food are we talking about now? I make little jello versions of you and eat it? <laughs> that would be interesting. Little jello humans. Poor wolf, silly bean. <laughs> what are we poor wolfing? I kind of not under I vibe with this. <laughs> me, me knowing too many other rea too many uh, possibilities for your comment. Oh god, there are so many possibilities. Um, yeah, sure. Exactly, I love being stupid. <laughs> don't just don't choke on me or do. <laughs> this chat has gone in very strange ways, and I don't mind it. Ooh, lucky prayer. That's 52 bonus or points to bear battle results. Makes rare reward items easier to attain. Shh, let's try it. How about no? I'm 100% younger than you. Arthur's 100% correct. <laughs> let's go hash eggs. It's a Lagambi! Sorry, it took me that long to realize what it was. Bane Rider. He's a legendary rider. In that case, you must know a thing or two about elements. No. Monster skills and weapons have corresponding elements. Many monsters from snowy areas are weak to fire element attacks. You don't say. Attack with the element that the monster is weak against, and weak armor prote protecting you from the element they use. It's elementary, of course. I'm not going to impress you, the legendary rider, with that kind of trivia. Oh, you recognize my greatness. I'm proud. 
I am 456. And I'm numbers. You're a hashtag, so cool. God damn it, you guys. You're such a joy. Mozzie Expeditions! Yes, that's a thing I can do. Let's hatch all the things. Well, while we're throwing out random things, I guess. I don't know what my random age would be. We'll just say grave dirt. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> I legitimately have a small thing of dirt, though. Yeah, but that's special dirt, so. That is special dirt. I used to have a thing, uh, a vial of sand from the Kentucky Derby, and I broke it during my 20th century presentation. I, I did my 20th century presentation with like. I guess that explains why I've never fingers. heard about it. Yes, I lost it. Eh. My Kentucky Derby sand. I ran out onto the track once the race was over and grabbed it and ran back. It was towards the finish line too. So it was illegal sand. Pretty sure it was illegal sand, but I pulled it. Actually, there's a couple people doing it, but still. Eh. It's not like they tried to stop you. If you're taking like a bucket, they might try to stop you. Yeah, nah. Small vial is probably not even frowned upon. Probably. I don't know what's gotten into me. This chat, Heavenly, has actually been around for longer than I expected. Can I actually tell you bad news? You can tell me whatever news you want to tell me. But yeah, Heavenly, I actually suggest uh, burgers. Ooh. Making your own burgers. Because they're not as tasty as steak, but they're much, much cheaper. And if you prepare them even half right, they can be really tasty. True. Um, oh wow, it's actually a time. I uh, highly suggest either 8515 beef or Angus. True. Preferably Angus 8515. Mm hmm. That's I guess it's all dark out. Cooks just right on a grill. Well, not just right, but it's easy to cook. Yeah. I'm just sending dudes out just to see what'll happen. Also, next time you uh, think about making burgers, if you have some extra spare time, like a couple extra hours or a day or so, you can uh, pick a nice good whiskey, poke a couple of holes in the patties, soak it in whiskey, and then slather it in barbecue sauce before ever even thinking about putting it on the grill. And it needs a couple hours to sit just like that. Stop making me hungry. That sounds amazing. You can make you can be as hungry as you want. You ain't getting that tonight because I haven't prepared it. PBS Kids is canceling me. Really? I think I heard about that actually. What? That's what Arthur said. PBS. Oh, the they're canceling. Fucking. Well, considering the changes they made to it, I'm not really all that surprised. They made it super woke, and honestly, if you're making a oh. kids show woke, but just leave yeah. it good old Arthur. Like that show was cool. Like, it wasn't my favorite show, but at least it was interesting. I agree with Morgan Freeman. Oh, I'm 100%. Morgan Freeman is a wise man. Yeah. Morgan Freeman, when asked how you stop, how you essentially end racism... Okay, first of all, you'll never end... Or discrimination, really. Yeah, you'll, you'll never end discrimination entirely. You've gotta <laughs> be satisfied with one in fucking a million being a piece of shit. Yeah. Because you're never going to get basically beyond that. No, because there's going to be humans that are just inherently bad. Yeah. Or inherently which way, So back to Morgan Freeman. Um, with this kind of being understood, and the quote with that portion unsaid <laughs> is, uh, how do you get rid of the racism and discrimination? And this is on basically a 60 Minutes interview. Yeah. Uh, Morgan Freeman look just immediately to the to the host stop talking about it and the guy shut up stop referring to me as a no 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 no. Yeah. he said stop talking about it and the guy shut up and he waits yeah. like for the guy to for the host to continue to talking and he goes he goes no 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 stop talking about it you stop calling me a black man and I'll stop calling you a white man and then we're just men which honestly I really like. And the the guys oh, no. the the guys like but but you know, what about Black History Month? Oh, good. You're okay. And Morgan Freeman's like, responds with well, oh, well, you're you're white, you're what okay? about white uh, No no, I'm month? not white, I'm Jewish. Well what about Jewish History Month? Well you... we don't have a month. Well do you want one? 
No, no, no. Well, neither do I. Yep. Morgan Freeman is a great man, as far as I understand. Yeah. So, and listening to him talk is always a joy. So, essentially what it boils down to, the simplified thought process of how to explain it, if you haven't already picked up on it, just in case, the way you stop people from saying shit about everyone's differences, not the way, but one of the big ways, Easiest. is to stop pointing out that there are differences. Mm -hmm. Like, you can once go for you, anything, too. Yeah. Like, a kid in a wheelchair is a kid. Yeah, once you start pointing out the differences, everybody who didn't notice it is going to be looking at it and thinking about it consciously and subconsciously, whether they want to or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it breeds it. <laughs> I'm not sure how to take that. What? To, to Heavenly says, I don't like you, but of all the people currently in chat, I don't like you the least. <laughs> You're a special bean. Or Heavenly's just like, fair. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are getting along, at least. However you want to call this is getting along. <laughs> Anna, look who's back! And pause for effect. We got the windmill parts you need! Naviro literally is the dude who frickin' voices... Ugh, anyway. Welcome back, my friends. I see you've dealt with the Kezu. Of course, I expected no less from legendary heroes. But apparently... Chief, this actually <laughs> isn't the legendary ride. <laughs> Chief, you set the bar pretty high for us, huh? <laughs> God, not bro. There's only two people. Uh... That's a compliment. I mean, take it as you will. Thanks to your sweat and hard work, we'll have all the windmills working again. That's one thing off the to-do list. One thing? One thing? To-do list? Sounds like there's more. I just want to do all the missions so I can get all the monsties. Yes, I've been too tied up here to look into the pit. I'd pit. love to have your help, oh, my friends. Right. All right, let's get to the pit. Please, be careful out there. I'm not sure why, but the monsters near that pit have been acting up. You're telling me the Zamtrios we met outside the village was not what I would call friendly. <laughs> Zamtrios in general are not friendly. I see. It seems to be happening all around. The guild's calling the lights Rage Rays. I mean, that's as good a name of it. As good as of an, uh, huh. uh, good of a name as any. Rage Accurate. Rays? Mm -hmm. The strange light from the pits is what's enraging monsters. At least, that's the guild's theory. Light that mm. makes monsters mad. You may run into some rage raid monsters by the pit. Keep rage raid's gonna out. be one of those things I wanna stumble on eventually. <laughs> Don't worry about us, Chief. Let the legendary and say duo what? Something like this. Rage Rain? Something. I keep miss doing Wings of Ruin. I was doing Wings Thank of you. Ruin Good for a luck, while. My friends. Wings of what? Ruin. W U I N. I I couldn't get the R fast enough out of my mouth, so I would slur the W and the R together. Oh my god. Or Rings of Ruin. Is the other one I would do. Oh my god. <laughs> We've been searching for W's and R's, man. But still no trace of old Day Day. <laughs> the felines and I will keep up the search. You and the cats, huh? Okay. And uh, if anybody can find them, I guess it's you. Pit probe! Guys, Capcom, I need to take a moment to talk about the But you know what? Whatever. The light emerging from the pits is causing the monsters. Or is causing the monster strange behavior. The Rage Ray phenomenon has spread farther than Kuan, with stories of it happening all across the land. What could be the connection between the pits, the light, and the Rage Rays? You head towards the pit to find out. Pits at the top of snow-clad Mount Lavina. Okay. Let's go. You know this game is jam-packed with voice acting? You know what else is jam-packed with voice acting? Uh, anime? Well, any sort of voiced game, I guess? No. What's up? Porn. Does that qualify as voice acting? Well, I guess if they're faking it. Of which 98 out of 100 are. Yeah. Actually, I'd go as far as to say 99 and a half. Probably. Let's be honest here. If you're a porn star, you're probably bored of it eventually, right? I went to a weird direction, not gonna lie. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Also, I have a lot of blue monsters on my team. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Where's my armorer guy? Uh, there you are. Not here. Well, so the fire is in the smoke. Welcome. I need to see something. Armor, please. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a war nurse outfit. Really? And then you go full. Well, we are like ten. But the Anja armor, though. <laughs> Come on! Give me the. They nurse. went there with actually, Anja, but not Kezu. That is actually Those similar to fuckers. Kezu. It's just the helmet is different. The helmet is usually like a nurse's. Yeah. Like a traditional nurse thing. And this time they went more like <laughs> what Joan of Arc style. Yeah. Which honestly, Joan of Arc Kezu. Freaking no. No. Be weird. There's Nursilla. There's the Gundam armor. Hey. <laughs> Gyps Rose. Catch a watcha. All right. <laughs> God damn it, Arthur. The number one RPG of 2020, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Is it actually a voice acting? <laughs> That's right, I've been a sleeper agent for Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm a program to sponsor it every day. Get Raid Shadow Legends for free on the Google Play Store. <laughs> The worst part is this is going up on Google, and, you know, on, YouTube? on YouTube, and Hashtag we are not, not sponsored. Yeah, and we are not fucking sponsored or taking that out. <laughs> Put in code box two forty for a free legendary champion, twenty thousand silver and gold. God damn it! It should be two hundred forty thousand uh, silver. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. That was hilarious. Oh me oh my! But yes, not actually sponsored by Raid, although. God only knows how many people have been, including frickin' Brandon Herrera and some other random people. Weapons. Kezu Shock Sword. Woman. Hmm. Their Silla Sword is amazing, by the way. It just looks awesome. Flamenhausen. Or er, Flamenzon? Sorry. Bag of horrors! It's a Kezu head on the stick! <laughs> that's a Ooh, fucking bag of horrors, for it sure. Is. The gypsy rose head on the stick. This is the hunting horn, the fabled Kezu hunting horn. Oh god. Oh, it's horrifying. War drum. We haven't looked at the weapons in a while. No, you Pulsar haven't. Bow. Which probably means I should upgrade stuff. Probably. Full voltage! Kezu gun lance! Oh my god. No, we're getting. Sorry, I read it wrong. We're sponsored by the bug spray? Raid. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that sponsorship I could believe, is we use a lot of that stuff. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Well, too. we live in the fucking country. Yeah. What is this one? Kind of. Mostly. We live between a whole bunch of fucking farms, so we wind up with a lot of stink bugs and bees and hornets and wasps and, uh... What else do we get a lot of? Spiders. Yeah, we get a lot of spiders. Ants, too. Yeah. Um, this year we've gotten a few lantern flies. Spotted lantern flies. Sadly. Fucking hate those things. Yes. Go. Oh. oh, right. Cicada killer hornets. Yes. We get those a lot, too. Fuck those things. They killed our, they're killed. they killing our lilac bush out front. Yeah. Thank you. Thank By the you. way, our lilac bush is like... 15 or 20 feet tall. Yeah, it's huge. And we have like five foot tall. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's bigger than, it's older than we are. Mm -hmm. It's probably been there at least, I don't know, 30 to 50 years, if not much closer to 100. Because the house is about 100. And there's a giant sycamore tree next to our house oh, that sycamore is. Sycamore tree is gorgeous. It, it's probably older than 100. It's probably as old as the house, if not way older. Oh, yeah. Also because it's um, it's a meter and a half across in diameter at least. Also, I love that we have two things that cause ridiculous allergies, and your sister has horrible allergies. Yeah, and I don't. Neither do I. Hold the phone. Oh, okay. Oh, we didn't collect these treasures. Hmm, wonder why. Whatever. Onward. We'll get to go buy the uh, Royals and Ogre. Royal is also a weird name, if I may say so. Well, I guess we have Apex, we have mm -hmm. Frenzied, we have... I think they haven't used Alpha before. I don't know. There's only so many ways you can say, you know, Super BA Monster. Aurora Grass, okay. 
Thanks for the lurk, Heavenly. Enjoy your rest. Also, by the way, I made the Kazu gun lance. <laughs> I'll probably make the armor too, honestly. Because you know I'm gonna have a Kezu on my team, and if there's red Kezu, we're gonna have that on the team instead. Red Kezu, oh my god. I haven't fought one in a while, I'm scared, so I'm gonna need to soon. <clears throat> because, uh, yeah. hey, look, speaking of. We're gonna skip you, though. We'll get to the story missions, and I'll grind all the eggs off screen at some point. Or if we finish the quests early, we'll do that on stream. Mm. I just had a feeling like there was maybe a few of them, because we haven't seen all the monsters here. That's essentially what I'm doing, too. I figure once we finish all the story missions and have to move on to the next area, we'll have access to all the monster eggs. That's what happened in Alcala. <laughs> Listen, I exploit the way the game works, okay? It's just how I work. Diamond dust? Damn. We just joined that out of the ground, did we? And yes, I realize I can fast travel places, but items are items, man. Save. Hits through here. Can I talk to you? No, I wanna. Hey there! Lavinia Glacial Peaks, where the mysterious pit appeared, are up ahead. You're investigating it too? Do take care. So one thing I've noticed, which is kind of fun, they keep putting the pits in like really big like landmarks, which I mean makes sense. This game has a lot of eggs, but so do bugs. Get raid to kill bugs before they can lay them. Indeed, including Hold bed on. bugs. Was my god. I have a feeling we're being watched. Oh god. Oh, this chick. Lady cat. It wasn't that long ago when a pit opened up in this area. Giant holes? Lights? Enraged monsters? Can't make heads or tails of anything! We'll find the pit if we go that way. Hmm. <clears throat> Chief has mistaken you for the legendary rider who stopped the Black Blight. But if you do form a bond of kinship with Ratha, you really could become a legend. Yeah! I couldn't have put it better myself! I'm sure you can become a renowned writer too, buddy. <laughs> no, are we doubting ourselves or something? Could it be that you're afraid? Because Ratha may have a terrible power? I mean, if maybe. Ratha really does have that power, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do either. But Monsties listen to their riders. And if there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious, too. I mean, yeah. They say that my buddy's grandpa could understand what monsters were saying. But this is the first time I've heard about monsters understanding people. Of course. Monsters are extremely sensitive to feelings. It's not words, but emotion. Or instinct, maybe. They don't have a language <clears throat> like us. So maybe that's why they're more attuned to feelings. I guess that makes sense. If you're scared, Ratha won't be able to show his true power. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. Or that he'll protect me, maybe. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, uh -huh. Something wrong, Naviru? I don't know which one we're gonna go. Oh. It really feels like we've been watched this whole time. <laughs> it makes me wonder if she's you. actually a feline as well. I don't see anyone. Maybe. Hmm. Sweet toe beans. Do I have fanatical fans following me? I wish they wouldn't be so shy. I love meeting my fans. <sighs> I don't know. Shut up. Could that be? Oh. I swear, if this cat becomes Naviro's love interest at We've the end of the game, hurry, buddy. I'm not quite I'd sure how I feel. Butt off, but not. It would make sense because that's usually how these sort of things go. But whatever. At least Naviro will have somebody else to annoy besides me. <laughs> Or I'll get two Palicos. So, I'm gonna try to- I don't know which monster it's gonna be. 
I kind of hope it's like a, a frenzied Legombi just because it'd be adorable as all get out. Damn it. Alright, I guess I'll have to bring somebody with jumps. Another fence, okay. Gypsaros, ugh. Do we have somebody with us? Nope. It's brought all the wrong people today. I'm sure they're like Pokemon HMs. You just... What? What is this? Greetings, travelers. Are you ready to have the thrill of your nine lives at the famous Lavina Geyser jump? Oh, God. This looks like jump. it could be fun. Right? I don't know about you, but I thought felines and water don't mix well. <laughs> don't worry, your whiskers. It's 100% safe, guaranteed. Plus, there's no other way forward anyway. <laughs> 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 there's just some rules and claws. clauses to go over first. Geysers are numbered by destination. If you're... If your own responsibility, make sure you use the correct geyser. Guess you don't really have a choice. No, 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 I don't want to use a geyser yet. Crazy sounds could be a fun new experience. Let's do this! That's geyser number one. Okay. So we're supposed to go that way, so we're not going that way. Oh, button. Okay, there's this chest. Oh, damn it. See what I said earlier about going to all the right places? It's in the wrong order. Oh dang! What's oh dang? The guys are jump. Oh, I'm cold. Oops. There we go. No wonder I was moving slow. Or maybe I'm just hallucinating. I'm not really sure. Oh, we already went this way. Wait, can we not go the other way? I'm about to jump off. Or is it just one tier higher? I just want to explore! Yeah, I guess it's a different level. My voice cracked for a second, I don't like growing. <laughs> I got bad news for you, Arthur. It doesn't matter really how old you are, your voice will crack at random times just cuz. Yep. Alright, let's, let's hit the geyser, I guess. Let's hit my brain, which, yes, please. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, I guess? Brain power is always a good thing. <laughs> Alright, then. Huh. Where the hell am I? But yes, it's part of the reason why I keep certain things on my phone, like certain apps, like Sudoku puzzles, for example, or like Lumosity, which is actually rather good. Trains all sorts of things. Attention. Guys, number two, okay. Oh no. Well, lads, I'm preparing you now. We're gonna get lost. Flash bomb? Okay. If there's one thing I'm super bad at, it's these sorts of... Hey, remember the order of the things you have to hop on top of? Guys, number three. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go to guys number two. It's not going to like, why am I trudging through snow? Oh good, we don't see the cutscene every single time. But what's this sign say? Oh, it just has the two symbols, okay. We got a chest. Vital lessons. Okay, so Geyser 2 takes us just kind of nowhere. A 
Oh, you cocksuckers. Alright, hit guys are one. <laughs> Which one of these is freaking Geyser 3? I think it's this one. Short term memory puzzles are one thing, long term memory puzzles are something entirely different. Am I important? Yes, of course! 99% of humans are important. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean that in, <laughs> in a better sense than that. But no, you are important. Especially to me, actually. You were a good lad. Uh, am I just broken? Did I just break myself? Yeah, this way. Not this way. I'm trying to think of how to word it, I'm terrible at it right now. Yeah, importance... I don't know, importance might feel relative. But what's that one phenomenon, Wolf, that... We don't even know if it's affected by human observation. No, there's a phenomenon that or we... Or is it affected by human? There is a phenomenon that we do know is actually affected by observation. Yes. Um, I can't remember which way around it is, but it is a... Particle? Yes, it's, e it's particle. It's either a particle or a wave. And um, I think it's a wave. When it's not being observed, it is a wave that essentially continuously spawns throughout the room from one point. Yeah. Um, but when it is observed by a person, it is a finite point, not a, not an expanding wave. Yep. Which is crazy to think about because it it, that's... it shows you. It tells us that human observation has a physical effect on the universe. Mm-hmm. What effect? Yeah, who knows? But yeah. an effect, nonetheless. I wonder... I don't know if there's even a way to prove that that happens with other animals, too. That's a good point there, too. Feline burrow! Yes, recover. I'm not even sure... Well, how do you even study that? I guess have like um, have like a dog or something like that. You know, sit, stay, and have it look at something. Uh, yeah, but you don't know it's paying attention to whatever that thing is. True. You'd have to somehow observe the thing without observing it, because if you, I don't know, they, they studied it somehow. I guess they could figure it out. Yeah. Or guess get like a highly curious animal, maybe. Maybe. Like a like a raven or an elephant or something, and take advantage of their curiosity. Also, I never really realized that ravens can mimic human speech so well. <laughs> but I was listening to a, a YouTube channel. I think it's called Falconry and Me, and she takes care of a raven, a couple of ravens actually, and this thing mimics her voice. Well, not perfectly, but damn near. Like, close enough. And if you just kind of heard it randomly, you'd be like, Oh, that's such and such, right? I didn't realize they could get that close. Like, I know, like, D&D &D mimicry and all that, and, like, parrots and stuff, but ravens? I had no idea. Yeah. Oh, we're here. Well, we did save, so I guess, yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna- I don't know what's gonna pop out of the hole this time. What do you think, Wolf? What snowy creature will pop out this time? Hmm. <laughs> uh oh I don't like the look of this. When is it going to reveal its power? Probably when its life is threatened or something. Celtus! Huh? 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 Oh my god! Tell me it's just Celtus. And not Celtus Queen. I feel like something's amiss. Hey! We've got to search closer. You're gonna get caught. It's a Celtus! Oh no! It's all out of sorts! <laughs> 
just the Celtus? Please give me- Yes, there she is! <gasps> Celtus Queen's in the game! They kept her classic from her too. I'm sorry, Celtus Queen is one of my favorite freaking monsters. The fact that she's in the game, ah! I need to find her like yesterday. <laughs> so bad that you don't have uh, metal here. I know! Metal, I need to find you and, and, and show you all the stuff that we discovered. Plus, what the hell is with freaking what's his face and uh, Avinia? Um, game theory, instead I'm going to be debunking a theory instead of making one this time. All right, have a field day. Also, truck, or Dragon Code over Dean to Chuck Norris joke, so have fun. <laughs> oh God, what do we got here? There. Celtus Queen! Wait, will she summon more Celtus? We have to test this. What? Um, will Celtus Queen summon more Celtus like she does in the game? Oh. In the base game. <laughs> Dragon Kuros is like, hee <laughs> hee. Um. Oh god, I don't know. This is gonna be rough. Okay, so we'll read these completely out of order. <clears throat> Chuck Norris once got 100% on a calculus exam by writing violence for every question. Chuck Norris solves all problems with violence. <laughs> Alright, that's funny. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Next one up. When you open a can of whoop ass, Chuck Norris jumps out. Fair. <sighs> okay, what do we have here is the last one. Right. Violence is the answer for everything, says Kuro. <laughs> yeah. And finally, for the last one, we have... The grass is always greener on the other side. Unless Chuck Norris has been there. In that case, the grass is most likely soaked in blood and tears. I was- that's not the direction I was expecting for some reason. Those were good. Oh man, I mean, let's- let's- let's say here, like, we're- we're solving this problem with violence, right? <laughs> oh my god. We are! Oh, we can trip her. Formation! Oh no, she's gonna call him. We get to see the, the freaking bonding. The, um, this. Uh... Oh wait! Tell me the saddle's on top of her freaking carapace. Like, I ride it like Celtus does. Also, if I can't ride the Celtus Queen, I'm gonna be super pissed. I will bet you you cannot ride Celtus Queen. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> don't, I, don't, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Alright, hang on. We'll take care of the Hell Hydrate, and then we'll take care of the Miso Honey. Unless you want to do it, Wolf. Give me the big one. Here you go. Uh, so, there you go. <laughs> There you go, Kuro. That's what that is. In case you don't know, Kuro <laughs> is a deer call that mimics a very horny doe. doe. Yes, that's what that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Like I we have... said, it's not what you think. I swear. Yep. I have two of them. Here's the other one. It's smaller, so it's a bit more higher pitched and stuff. Oh god. <laughs> nice. I, I, listen, I want to go hunting eventually, when I know, one, how to clean a deer properly, two, have freezer space to store the damn thing, because you know I'm not letting that go to waste. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. I'll read Arthur's comment first. The theory is Zero killed the classic series characters in Mega Man. Oh yeah. This is simply not true. Sure, Zero did kill many people, but they weren't the original characters, they were random reports. Oh really? In fact, Zero is written with the intention to be a hero from the start, not a murderer of a robot or, or ro murderer of robot. Huh. He feels like a hero. Considering X1. So Kudo, the you yeah you is this. It is a grunt caller. Also, too much air pressure. Too loud? No. Apologies. Too much like a duck. Oh. There you go. That's that's more like it. Nope. Getting higher Getting again. Getting higher again. I'll figure it out eventually. Practice. You oh. have to not be excited. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. This is not the screen on the screen, okay? <laughs> All the noises, indeed. So the grunt caller, you can actually adjust this one. So you can make it sound quite different. Wolf just took it from me, so he's gonna buck with it. Combined attacks from a Celtus and its queen can do a lot of damage. 
wolf's better at it than me. Um, I am thoroughly frightened by this. And that's just from the extendo tube on it. <laughs> it also has a reed in it with um, a little rubber O-ring that you can move up and down to make it higher or lower pitch to mimic neat. older bucks or even does. Yep. Yeah, because apparently does sometimes grunt when they're really horny. It's, yeah, it's not very common, but they'll do it. <laughs> the worried emote. <laughs> Which part? I suppose there's quite a bit to be worried about. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like as far as like hunting goes, if I'm gonna go hunting, I'm gonna use whatever it is that I'm gonna be hunting. Either if that means eating it or doing something with the parts. Like, I understand the mentality of trophy hunting, it's just I wouldn't do it IRL. I don't think I would, anyway. You can say whatever you want, Arthur. <laughs> there are no restricted words in this chat, as far as I know. Unless there's still one left over randomly from Duo. Ow! If, you, if, you can break, if we can break up their formation, we might stand a better chance. Well, that's why I'm killing Zelthus! We can't just force them apart, we gotta be smart about this. Selfish sphere. Ow! Oh, we have defense down too. That's Kraven. Narga! Speed! Speed is key! Use your speed! There we go. Yeah, my geography teacher is 99.99% bad person and 0.01% brainless? Gonna get, 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 gonna go get dinner. Enjoy your dinner, Kuro. Enjoy your rest. Oh, knock him off. All right, Kuro. Hopefully, to, we'll see you again soon or next time. Indeed. Um, what was she doing before? Maybe one of these days I'll have my own freaking channel because the my my account will come back up in the uh, in, name in the role. That'd be nice. We should actually probably oh, check crap. that again very soon. Yeah, we should. She swapped the speed, good lord, so she uses all three. Look, yeah, she, she, she's a queen, she's gonna fuck your day up. True. So far I'm not dead, which is impressive. <laughs> I'll take it. It's like, you know, the queen's always more dangerous than the king. Of course! Queens are conniving, just saying. Ooh, can I use my worm stick? I can't. Worm stick, go! <laughs> Oh, thanks, Avinia. <laughs> I don't know what happens if we break her head. Ow. What is with my monsters and not listening? Buddy, she's gonna. Alright. Um. Jam shows, I really hope you do something cool. There you go, good boy. I like how just the video is just constantly healing us. <laughs> I appreciate you, madam. We people don't like that anymore. Ma'am, miss, whatever. Charge breath. Oh no. One of us is gonna get water blasted, and it's not gonna be a good time. Also, I can't help but notice that she's got attack plus. Two arrows instead of just one? Hmm. I'ma get bonked. <laughs> I'ma get bonked. Oh, she's doing it again. Oh. Ow. You got bonked. Yeah, we got bonked. Crossbang live, please. Thank you. Good boy. Um. Are you doing it again? No, don't tell me she's doing it again. Pheromones. Oh, she's calling one. Okay. <laughs> Can see the future. Wolf's last words will be him at age negative one saying, Yum, I don't know what this means, but it has something to do with food. <laughs> Arthur continuing the legend. Oh, got salt back. Okay. Um, now we need speed. We really need speed. You swap to power, and that's not that's gonna get you murdered, boy. Oh, no, that's what you wanted. 
Is it? Did I mess up? I'm pretty sure I just messed up. Ah, nuggets. Well, Narga, sorry, I'm at least helping you out in this endeavor. Also, give me for my freaking Sam Toku. Okay. Yeah, we, we mucked up. I should have kept with the Sam Trios Ice Boy. Oh, Narga, I'm sorry. Uh, Ratha, come here. We'll aid Ratha and bash Celtus' heaven. That's what good hammer means do. I can see everyone's futures. They're all gonna have a very nice life, except Wolf. <laughs> he tripped at the starting line of, of life and fell straight onto his face. <laughs> yep. You know, the sad part about that is Wolf has awful luck. Like, really bad luck. It's more like, at the starting line of life, I found out that somebody glued my shoes to the ground. Yeah. Alright. The hard way. Yeah! Bonk. Bonk. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail this. But... Oh, cool, got it right! Boop the cell test. Like I was considered the wings. <laughs> Except the one time when he did, you know, that. <laughs> the thing. The legendary thing. Ow. Ow. We're all gonna run the frick over. I would not be alive if it wasn't for this freaking talisman I have. Hey, yo, we got him. Now it's super fast. Um, I think now you do your speed boys attacks. Oh, you're weak and in, in hurting. Good. You know that secret he told me in earnest, and I believe he should tell everyone. <laughs> Oh lord. Actually, you know what? We'll keep the worm stake in case she actually calls another one. Or we won't at all. Hammer! It's probably a good thing that Pokemon doesn't have these kind of dynamic sort of attacks and patterns. Oh, we killed it! Tuning up Terror on with one stone. Man, we rock so hard. Oh, poor Saltus Queen. But we got her. Crossfiring that probably couldn't have stopped those monsters on our own. Probably not, because you constantly use the horn. Nice armor. Celtis armor! And weapons. Ooh. I don't know what we'll get for Celtis stuff. Yeah, that, that will be interesting. So there's a Celtis charge blade, but I don't know any of the other weapons for... Uh, there's also an insect blade, but again, none of those are in the game. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Arthur. Oh! Level up. Your kinship stone powered up again, just like when we fought the Anginath and Rathian. Hoorah. It's gotta be the light that made them act all weird. Probably. Come on, Wolf. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right? <laughs> mm. Arthur's just in encouraging your legend of mm. infamy. Which means nope, the kill's no theory idea. was correct. This light makes monsters more violent. I'm glad she specified more violent. But something doesn't add up. Shh. When monsters are hit by the rage rays, they lose control. That means it should be dangerous for our monsties, too. Should be. I wonder why the light doesn't affect them. Kinship stones, I would assume. Probably. I don't want to let that scum out of closet for you. Perplexing <laughs> stuff. But I'd say we're making progress. Let's head back to the chief. 
See, the sad part is when Arthur's talking about this, the first thing I think of is when you told off my dad. <laughs> Fuck him. Right? Yes, let's go. He learned that lesson the hard way. Oh my god. See, Ratha didn't do anything Let's bad. Head to the village. Shouldn't we request backup from the other hunters? Wait, why? Wait, where? Your reasoning? Hmm. I just have a bad feeling. Hmm. Okay then. Let's reach out to them. Oh. I thought you'd object. It's just as you said. We shouldn't wait until it's too late. Besides, I hear your instincts are spot on. I see. Well then, but I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> huh? What? Why? Oh, it's neither here nor there. <laughs> she wanted to watch you fail or something. Probably. <laughs> huh? She Not wanted bad. to argue him into it, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Not that I'm talking about how he did that thing in a specific Asian country. Oh, you mean take a really super awesome old car and freaking race Japanese tuners and whoop them? Cause that'd be a thing. No, that didn't actually happen, but it, I can see it happening. Like, uh, what was it we were always joking about? Taking a... the Charger Daytona? A Charger Daytona. With that yeah. big freaking I don't, wing. I don't want to take one of those over and, and race it, but I want to take one of those over, either a Charger Daytona or a Plymouth Superbird, 1970 version. Hmm. 426 Hemi. Maybe, maybe, if I'm feeling... Probably. Extra feisty, <laughs> go with um, a Elephant motor, which is a 426 Hemi supercharged from the factory. It's a crate engine from Dodge that's 1,000 horsepower stock. Oh. Guaranteed. <laughs> uh huh. I think Arthur might be referencing Hiroshima up, and yeah. another city. Yeah. If not just the souped up, you know, Hemi, big, loud, thumpy, fucking American. fast American car that's very long. And if you know anything about Japanese roads, they're not suitable for big, long cars. Also, no. the Japanese love American muscle cars, so it's it, it gets a lot of fun <laughs> attention. I'm just throwing things out there, Arthur, just to see what sticks. Yeah. <laughs> he the also responded one... to my uh, Hiroshima thing. That, to WTF, no! <laughs> yeah. The other one would actually be a, a 427 Cobra. A, a Shelby Cobra. That'd be cool. Or maybe a GT500 Shelby Mustang, a 67 model, not a 68 or 9. That's awfully specific, I forget why. Because 67s came out of Shelby's race shop, 68s and 9s came off the assembly line from Ford. Mm. So a 67 is a real race car, a 68 and 9 are not. Um, but yeah, one of those smaller ones, preferably probably the, the Cobra, but yeah. One of those, ooh, yeah. that would be fun. They would, they would love me and hate me at the same time, cause that's fast. Oh, let's say he prevented the Earth from being melted. That's one clue. Oh, Fukushima. No. No. I'm assuming not. Well, Fukushima was no. a fucking <laughs> tidal wave. Godzilla. Or as they say, Gojira. I'm gonna just guess as many natural disasters as I can. <laughs> you mean a movie about him? Yeah, Gojira. And that's what I'm going with now. Kinship Stone level 4. Expedition party has returned. Let's check them out in the stables. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. Is there anything else around here? Is it just big F up hole? Wait, why is South Queen in a snow area? She's a jungle monster. Whatever. Don't ask me. I don't Rage know. raids, yo. They do some gnarly stuff. Ooh, treasure chest. See? I told you there's gonna be something around here. Well, I didn't say anything, but... Kinship. See, I told you! Wait, I didn't say anything. I just assumed there would be. God, these holes are freaking huge! And very perfectly circular. I'm assuming it's an Elder Dragon of some kind that controls it. That should be my guess. So I can see Wolf fighting as Godzilla with... God only knows what nonsense. If he had an infinite budget, like Batman. Yeah, I would do some <laughs> stupid stuff, especially with cars. <gasps> hey guys, look! Is that a red? It is a red kezu. It's a red kezu. Holy shit. I don't know if I'm gonna get stomped by fighting this thing. Hang on a minute, where's eh, my safe probably. spot? Should I fight it? I'm gonna fight it. 
I should survive, right? Okay, so Red Kezu's here. Which I guess I should have expected. And there's normal Kezu down the way. They changed Wolf's name so he wouldn't smite them down. I, I can say it because I'm a rabbi for Wolf religion. <laughs> oh, my lord. You're having some fun times now, Huma. Er, Huma. <laughs> Arthur. Not switch bossy. Give me my hammer. I was hoping to run into one of these. But yes, if Zelda's point is rideable, that's gonna be one of the things that's gonna be in our party permanently. Stay sharp. I do know one monster that's far, far flung into the future that will also always be in my party, but more can be a surprise. <laughs> Stay on your toes. I know what it is, just because I've been watching the, not watching the updates, but I've been seeing the updates. So it's like, okay, well. If you're doing technical stuff, we need a, a big powerhouse. Oh, I don't like it when I do the electric charge thing. No, hammer no good. Okay. There's a red Kezu gun lines? Oh, so it's feasting now. Okay. Wolf transformed into his demon form that was killed Godzilla's and Godzilla Jr. <laughs> Military came up and decided, or Wolf decided he was bored and let them win for once. <laughs> so you're saying Wolf pulled his devil trigger? I don't know, you're not as crazy as freaking Dante. Well, you're crazy as Dante, you're just not as. What's the word? Boisterous is Dante? Boisterous. boisterous. I don't think boisterous is the correct word there. Boastful? But whatever. I don't boast shit. No, 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 you're not boastful like Dante. Oh. No. Although, from the anime and whatnot, Dante doesn't look all that boastful. He's very mellow He's in the anime. He's just very confident. Yes. <laughs> that is also true. I think it's in three is when he's really vocal. Ah, laser. Also, what's the kinship skill with a Kezu? Ah, keep it up. Oh god. I'm kind of concerned now, honestly. Yeah. No, we'll decide it. This is boring, and we'll let them win so they won't be prepared by come back. That's actually a very wolf thing to do. Also, the wings on the Kezu, when you break it and you get the item, it's called alluring webbing. <laughs> they made all the freaking jokes with Kezu. <laughs> Alright. So we killed Red Kezu, that's cool. So we got him in the freaking Monstypedia now. Which is essentially why I fought him. <laughs> um. Actually, where is my Monstypedia? Baggy... Oh yeah, we don't have them unlocked. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't go the other way? Oh well. Interesting. There's still spots in this area that I haven't found. That's alright. I can always get them when doing the off-screen grind. It probably won't be as crazy as the last one, because I didn't have a whole day. Or I had a whole day, rather. We all screen grind, where I started auto-killing stuff. Yeah. That was a bit much. Alright, actually, let's turn in our quests first. Do we have any quests? Snowplow Ramping. Wait, they're off. Co-op Celtus. The Alluring Manted. And Celtus Queen. Yes! If we have quests for it, that might mean we can get it. Do we? No, but we have the expeditions. Let's grab that first. 
They made a movie about Wolf's Godzilla encounter, Godzilla vs. Destroya, which was Wolf's original name in, the, in his homeland of the Zyblogs dimension? You just combined a whole bunch of things, and I'm not sure which one comes from where. Done. New gene slots. Valuable scale, make money. Finding charm, a charm that makes it 11.5% easier to find eggs containing monsters with rare genes for 30 minutes. Yes, please. Um... Go to Akala this time. Interesting that those, those quests are real-time, but I guess you could just leave the game running. If you really felt like it, just change it out every half hour. <laughs> Looking at you, Wolf. Wolf's done some of that nonsense, by the way. What was it, Fable? That you changed the time and you got like infinite stupid amounts of money and like level up points? It was insane. In, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. What else did you do that with? Felt like there was a different game besides Fable. Well, no, Fable was just the big one. We broke that game so bad. Uh, Gran Turismo was a game I was forced to do that with because Gran Turismo 4 had real time 24 hour races. Oh. Yeah, and they had what's called B-spec mode. So A-spec mode oh, is you're the driver, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. and B-spec mode is you're the you're the crew chief, hiring drivers and setting up cars and shit, huh. and telling the driver how you want him to drive. But it's all up the all up to the computer. That's right. Yeah. So basically, I set up a car that was so out of fucking outclass every other fucking thing that I could just walk away. Mm -hmm. Even if it was driving on completely bald tires and and winding up off the road for half a lap, it would automatically pit and go back to being way faster than everything. Yeah. I remember my brother did a 24-hour one. Yeah, that's actually how you get the Formula One car. One of Is two it? ways you get the Formula One car in um, Gran Turismo. I'm listening, I'm just looking at stuff. Um, the, what is it, the PlayStation? I can't remember which what the fucking Formula One car. I don't think it's the Calsonic. I think it's either the Dolby Digital or the PlayStation uh, Formula One car. Is mm. what it's listed as. Maybe yeah. And you get it for completing, I believe, the 24 hours of Nurburgring. I might have that wrong as the uh, the race. Um, it's an okay. That might that might actually be the Ford GT race car. That you get the the Ford GT LM Mark II oh. might be the race car you get for that, but I'm not positive. It could be what is it? A thousand kilometers on Suzuka Oval might be the one I'm actually thinking of. I don't know, maybe. Any also, which I'm way. missing a monster and it's bothering me. Um, it's like one of those two. The other way of getting the the poly that's it the polyphony digital yes, Formula One yes, car. Yes, yes. Um, the other way to get it is to complete fifty percent of the entire game. Yep. And they'll give you one. Good luck with completing fifty percent of the entire game. I forget Duo. how many hours I had on that fucking game. Why are you game still awake? By the time I got fifty-four percent done. <laughs> Go to bed. Duo's here. Uh. Arthur says he really likes Mega Man X's Mega Man X6's music. It's probably the only good part of the game. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Probably though, based on what you told me. Let's talk to the chief. My friends, you're back. Indeed, we're back. Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. We ran into a Celtus and Celtus Queen by the pit. Both Rage Raid. Yes. As we suspected. The monster started raging because of the light from the pit. It appears this is what so. we're theorizing anyway. I bet that's what made Guardian Ratha lose control. Ah, uh, if Guardian Ratha goes rage raid, I'm concerned. I've been desperately trying to understand what was happening to him. What if old Ratha becomes the wings of ruin? Maybe. And ours has to stop that from happening or whatever. Sleep for an hour, falling back. One, two, three. <laughs> right back at you, duo. I, I don't, Yeah, that's a good question. Me, Wolf, and then... Who's the third? 
Also, you sound drunk. Yeah, or that you, sounds drunk. Or you read drunk. Or you're just that tired. One of the two. I shudder to think what would have happened if those Rage Raid monsters made it to the village. Nothing good. <laughs> Thanks to you, we avoided the worst case scenario. On behalf of all of Kuan, I thank you. I just want to find a self you we'd protect the village. Right, buddy? I've learned something as well. Apparently, a feline spotted old Day Day on snow-clad Mount Lavina. Really? Okay. Is that the hidden now area we can't talking. go to? Let's get a move on! Yes. When you're ready, let's go. Old Day Day's words of wisdom. Is the power of slumbering, slumbering in Ratha truly so ruinous? If it is, then what needs to be done about it? With a clouded head, you head to the last known location of Old Day Day. But the rays of hope in your mind are shadowed by a sneaking sense of dread. Well. Way to be all doom and gloom on us there, butter. Um. Although, unfortunately. I know, I just remembered that jump. It's literally impossible to get that jump on the shadow armor. Oh god. Something real bad then, huh? However, it is late for us, I suppose. And I wanted to go see old Day Day. But it's 8.30. <laughs> Therefore, we get to go see him a different day. Yeah. It's time to pack it in and... Get some foods and... Yeah. Grab some grub and, and pull get some sleep. Up. Yes. So, let us go find a human to spread our fun presence with. <laughs> Actually, am I even one good? That's a question. I think. I should be. Yes, I am. Who do we got on today? Uh, let's see. I don't know who you are. Hey, wait. Uh, Parasite Eve? Where? Center? Oh, Ash is playing it again. NG Plus. New Game Plus. Oh. Where? Oh! Defective Ash. Oh, Frank! Okay. I was gonna see if Kudo was on, because I know we haven't given him a rating in a good while. Ah! Um, there's but he's a good not idea. Here. Oh. He's not on our list. There's Alice. <laughs> Spread our Ash. fun seeds. <laughs> oh, Super Derek RPGs on. Oh, frick. That's been a while. Indeed. Legend of Heroes. Because, <laughs> of course. Uh, don't be sorry, Arthur. That was funny. Um. Luna's doing Arthur stuff. Arkolf. We're not rating Arkolf. We're too small to rate Arkolf. Although, he's got a voice like no other, though. Um. We can go say hi to, to Ash again, if you want. I don't care. Take your pick. Let me, let me, give me, give me, highlight. Is that cool? <laughs> no. I know, right? Let's, uh, get in here. Wait, there we go. And then next time we raid somebody, we gotta find somebody new, because I've been... Yes. I think the past couple times we've raided... Ash or oh, Alice. that's what we should have checked. We should have seen if Date Night In was still on. Date Night In is on. Oh. We can go read a Date Night In if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, it's been that. a while. Actually, it's been a long while. Sorry. Bye. Wolfie Mom and Guy. <laughs> Wolf is just Guy. Okay, Bye. boy. <laughs> Kratos boy. <laughs> All of a sudden, Wolf is Kratos. But yeah, we haven't hit up a Date Night In in a long while. Let's go do that. They're... I think she has Funky Monkey too, I just spotted. Yes. Um, Funky he Monkey's also a streamer. Um, he does a more variety of stuff. Date Night In does all cooking stuff. Very wholesome, very friendly chat. So, well, let's go say hi. I don't really know you, bro, but I still like you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Fair. I mean, fair. I'm the main voice on the mic after all. Unless we get opinionated, in which case it kind of switches. Or unless somebody gets me motor mouthing. That's true. That is very true. Oh, man. But we found a freaking Zelda screen, and now I have to go text Metal. And a Red Kezu. And a Red Kezu, yes. So far, we found them all. Except for one. We're missing one, and I think it might be the Zenogre, but it doesn't seem right. I'll look it up later. Either which way, onward to go say hi to a Date Night In with all two, two of us. us. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Date Night In doesn't really care. Bye, guys. Bye.